Well, you know, we had all those hard lessons in the non-conference portion of the schedule where things didn't go our way. We just weren't very lucky. We'd get leads and lose leads. We'd get behind, come back just enough to barely lose. So for the last two games, for us to uh, come out with victories in both close games, uh, I, I just think it, it sends the right message to our kids that the work and the belief and the commitment's worth it. And now we have to go on the road and do a little bit of that. Well, we've, we've said all along, Erica Wakefield is a facilitating point guard that scores if she needs to. And for her to get 10 points and 10 assists, I mean, that, that's who she is. I mean, she's getting the ball in the hands of the people that can score. And if they're not available, she's scoring herself. Well, Lisa was really good about, about uh, playing the scout. And the scout said, attack those big girls off the dribble. Go attack them. And when Lisa came in the game, that's what she did. She just went and attacked and got layups. And, you know, we had asked kids to do that earlier in the game, and it just didn't happen. But Lisa stayed true to the scout and did what we asked her to do. Well, three games in three cities in five days. It's not... Uh, it's not an easy task, and, and most of our job is going to be with our trainer and with our strength coach to keep bodies recovered. I mean, we're going to play a game and then travel and prep the next day, play a game, travel, prep, and play a game. So uh, there's not a lot of time in between. Uh, it's a lot of wear and tear on your legs and your bodies, but, you know, I think our strength coach and our, our trainer, I think they'll, they'll do all the necessary things to help us along.